Okay. Um, uh, Sam, I don't know what, I think it was game four against Goblin for Sam, but it was game five against Shogun. Tweak went game five with Sue, Shutone, and is there anyone else? But yeah, regardless. Yeah. Very, very, very close, close sets. sets coming up in, into this uh, winner's quarters. I mean, we're pretty much doing all the winner's quarters, so anyone who wins these matches qualifying right in the top eight, winner's side. That's right. So, uh, Refresh my memory, is this the third or fourth one? This could be the last this is winner's the fourth quarter. One, yes. This is the last winner's quarter. Correct. So then after that, we're going to find out who's going to be all on the loser's side, and we're going to follow the loser's path um, at the top eight. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really exciting. I. It's been a while since uh, Tweak and Sensora have fought each other. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the last time they played was at SmashCon. Has it been that long? I think it's been that long. I'm pretty sure. I think you're right. So... I mean, that, that set was with Pokemon Trainer. Uh, Tweak going to be going with the uh, Joker. Or oh, no, is Wario? He? Is he? Oh, okay, wow. Was there a conversation that happened between you and him? That, uh, that we definitely talked before we got on the mic. Uh, <laughs> so About Wario? I mean, Wario was definitely part of the plan. Okay. But, I mean, I guess he's feeling more confident. Wario, Wario I mean, helped Wario him out a lot again. From, from, from Sue. From Sue, yeah. So... Uh, I, kn I know Tweak just likes Wario against some of these floatier characters because the Nair works a little bit more consistently. Just the combos work a little bit more consistently. Okay, okay. And of course, you know, having access to Waffle, like we saw Gluttony really abusing against Wadi, uh, is a really good comeback mechanic or get ahead more mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, similar to Arsene. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe he just, like, just watching Gluttony kind of inspired him and he's like, you know what, I'm just going to go game one Wario. Who knows? That's true. Especially when you have a, such a large character pool like Tweak. Uh, you got to play with whatever's feeling good, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now Sansora getting something started here. There's the bike going to make it back on the stage. What's the ledge trap going to dash back? Oh, the up air. Really great anti are getting something started here for Sansora. Sansora, you know, fishing with these float back airs at the ledge. Yeah, and, and, and we see... Tweak going for a lot of these rising arrows because you want to be able to swat Peach out of the air. If you if you can somewhat beat Peach air to air, it kind of discourages her from floating, and that's pretty much her one of her strongest tools, right? Yeah, but it feels like Peach's up air is just maybe so wide that Wario has trouble landing on top of Peach. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, they've got a trade here, but Tweak holding that center stage control and gets the up smash. Right now, Tweak looking really good in this game number one. Yo, that up smash came out super quick. Yes. There was like no charge. <laughs> Very, very fast reactions coming out from Tweet. Sansora trying to get his way back into this game, though. I mean, and th this is pretty rough because half off is online. Mm -hmm. So it, the Waff conversion is going to be online, and Wario is very heavy. So 103, not necessarily a kill percent for Wario here. That's true, but we are about 10 seconds away. Okay, make that less. Oh, and the, the, get the directional air dodge. The full waft is online. The up tilt waft is going to connect. And just like that, three stocks to one here for Tweak. <laughs> wow, what a start for Tweak here on the top eight qualifier of Congo Saga. But Sansora able to answer right back, landing a back air and closing out the first stock for Tweak. And Tweak still having a, having a bit of stage control. Yeah, not, getting, not letting it get too out of hand here for Samsora, but Tweak coming back and getting all the momentum just right back on his side. But here comes the Peach combos. Nair's across stage, but doesn't get to connect everything. Wow, Ooh. and ending it off with the bite as well. A little bit unconventional for, for Wario's, but when you think about it, that's a really good strat. You know, automatically grab them, you drag them back down to the stage, and then you throw them in a position where you're going to be able to start the landing again. Yeah. It's a pretty good reset. Right, Tweak going high. Wow, even switching up the landing with the neutral B there. B reverse on that. Tweak has been doing a really good job, too, when he's off stage against these turnips. He's either using the neutral B to eat them or he's doing, using directional air dodge to, like, get to the ledge and grab the turnip at the same time. Wow, right. beautiful Very smart. call out. Very smart from Sansor. You typically will see back air out of shield is uh, the option of choice for most of these peaches, but he simply drops shield, turn around, say, get over here, big boy. Oh, the turnip is enough to take the stock here. Tweak getting a bit aggressive with that bike. You can, like, hold the bike and run off with it and kind of drop with the bike and set up for an edge guard. But because of that overextension, Tweak what, is the one that got edge guard on the reversal. Yeah, what a reverse. And, of course, using the command grab at the ledge. If your opponent's holding shield, you have access to a command grab, guess what? You're not exactly safe holding that R button. Yeah. And I'm, usually you see Wario the one making the comeback with the waft usually. But, man, Sansora is the one making the three stock to one comeback on the Tweak. That's right, it's 170% half waft available for Tweak. 
Oh, he went for it. Yeah, he just tried to anti-air him right there. So half off, gone. But a lot of options will kill for Tweak here. Um, the neutral will be not center stage. But if he gets it by the edge, it will definitely kill. Trying to set up this bike, maybe throw it up. No, throwing it down here. Man, he, he, he needs some kind of hit. Samsora is rocking this full tank of rage. That's right. And with all the momentum yeah, at his disposal, Tweak is definitely playing Samsora's forward game. Forward air? Landing a forward air. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Drop oh, down man. forward air? The first time for everything, guys. It's the first time for... I, you, I've seen like people get gimped with the Wario forward air. Yeah, because you like, get like a sour spot and you're just kind of like, oh. Uh, and you just can't make it back. Or like you're right next to the blast zone and you get fared, but like on stage like that, <laughs> I haven't seen that one. That is that is a new one. Put it in the books. Put Man, but that books. was, uh, it was very impressive that Samsoro was down so much and he was able to get all the momentum um, on his side towards the tail end there. Tweak going to stick it out with the Wario, but he had such a huge lead and Samsoro did such a great job of breaking the momentum and just keeping it like under control, right? And such a close game number one. But I'm really excited, uh, excited to see what's going to be happening here in game two. It's no secret that Samsora likes to pull back and really use game one for data. That's why we'll sometimes you'll see him get like completely destroyed game one, but then 3-0 the opponent right after that. I don't think that's what we're going to see here. I think it's we're going to see a very close game yeah. uh, between Tweak and Samsora. But I'm excited to see what the adjustments and the data that Samsora downloaded. There's the up tilt, but the Nair just getting him out. And this time, Samsora starting the game off in his favor. Big percentage lead. So we can get something started with maybe an up tilt starter or the landing Nair. Usually the combo starters you see for Wario. Oh, but there's a stitch Ooh. face online. Got to be careful. Just Z drops. Okay, Tweak not getting hit by that. Ooh, nice dash attack as well. Whoa, yeah, man. We're swinging, okay. bro. Tried to kill this man at 69%. We see a trade, you know. Oh, Another big really? F smash from Tweak. Dang. Samsora not expecting that. These smash attacks don't exactly come out from our from our top players too often. Yeah, um, very surprising. Wario doesn't have the greatest forward smash either in terms of like reach and it's really powerful. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, very very confident forward smash is coming out from Tweak and it's gonna nail him that first stock. And he was kind of getting like he had the percent deficit, so that's kind of what he needed, honestly. Right. Okay. Well, only putting 29% on Sensor. It did get a corner carry for Tweak. But now, Sansora answering right back, trying to get an up air chain of his own. Ooh, Frere into the grab, into up air, yes. Tried to catch the landing, but the foot doesn't hit the mark there. Ooh, big beautiful. damage from Sansora, and not only that, he, he, took, uh, he took back stage control. Oh, right, and right there, Sansora just did not want to get hit with a waft confirmed, so Tweak with the mix-up with the command grab coming out, and gonna just rack up so much damage here. There out of shield, slowly, uh, Putting attacking on more damage on a tweak. He's a get tweak in a position where he's honestly gonna be able to close out the second stock just so that the waft doesn't become a threat and just becomes an equalizer. But the full waft does happen. That was really good from Tweak. He he knew he couldn't get a confirm, so he just went for the raw waft. He he had armor on that too. So if Sam Sora swung, he would have beat it out. And it covered such a big area on the landing. So that was just really well played, and now another waft is charging. I feel like sometimes Wario's will wait too damn long and try to use their WAP, and they only get one WAP per game. But man, Samsora just comes right back and doesn't take that much damage, honestly, only 44%. Yeah, it's going to be like, what, one Peach combo? But at yeah. the same time, you know, good data has been uh, downloaded onto Tweak. Constantly, he's using the, the command grab off stage a little bit more often than he should be. Ooh, beautiful turnaround grab, reacting to that normal getup. Tweak setting up the ledge trap with the bike up throw and gets the grab on top of that and again with the bike, just controlling so much airspace, Tweak. <laughs> tried it oh, with he the tried to smash extended. Extended. Yeah. yeah, extended hurt box there. Okay, tweak with the leg traps again. Oh, and Samsora doing such a good job of with using these low floats with the up air to anti air tweaks aerial approaches because that's usually where Wario wants to come in through. That's what I was saying. Like he's having a little bit. It's, it feels hard to land on top of Peach, especially when they excel at these low floats. Okay, wow, the Nair swatting Tweak. He does not have the bike available. Oh, and a waft off the ledge roll. He had the half waft, and that is only because he used the full waft earlier, and that's what I'm talking about. When you get multiple wafts, that's when you get more value out of your character. TSM Tweak out here optimizing. So you're saying you get multiple comeback mechanics? You already know, bro. We out here playing good characters. <laughs> we out here. And like I said, Tweak, it really just depends on the matchup. Tweak is... Uh, 
very talented in using multiple characters. Right. So right. it can be really hard planning certain matchups, but because mm. he, he just has such a widespread, right? So um, the the Wario working out incredibly well here against. I mean, currently, I would say Sansora is going to be number two on the, the Season 2 PGR. Definitely feels like it. I mean, you know what? There's a lot of people talking and already calling him number two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's like almost set in stone kind of just because of his results. Yes. And because th this is the last season of the second season of, or last tournament of Season 2 PGR. That's right. Congo Saga, Bay Bay. We're here. And it ended off with a bang. Yeah, that's right. Top eight qualifier, Sansora and Tweak. All right, so Tweak up 2-0. Um, doing a really good job. We'll see if he can just close it out, right? 3-0 victory. Uh, but I, Sam Sora is a very, very talented player. I definitely would not see the reverse 3-0 as a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see a down throw with the follow-up. Using the second jump to evade the back air from Sam Sora. Tweet trying to follow up with another forward air, but Sam Sora answering right back. Okay, right now the bike is out. He's just staying by the bike, but the up smash, and we talked about anti-airs earlier. Sansora's been doing an incredible job of doing it, but this time doing it with a kill option and getting the lead. Not only that, he used uh, the bike against Tweak to extend his own up smash. Uh, wow, really good half waft coming out from Tweak. So again, now we got that timer ticking, right? Mm -hmm. Another waft is charging up, and now, like, we haven't even seen much setups from Tweak with the waft. More like punishes, right? Yeah, just either a whiff punish or the hardest of reads, knowing that uh, Sansora is going to either drift a certain way or he's going to throw out an option and just abuse the armor on a full waft. It's really what we've been seeing from Tweak, but a down tilt into a nair version from Sansora. This damage just continues to rack on Tweak. Yeah, Tweak got the forward air, but he didn't get the follow up after. He uses the bike to get up and over. There's the anti air up tilt to get things started and with the bite to close it out. Yeah, falling with down airs. More down airs at the ledge. Not exactly connecting, but okay, here's the, here comes the approach from Sansora. Ooh, the backer out of shield is going to swat Tweak off stage, but there is the up. He almost gets the backer to follow. Oh, tries to get the chase down, but Sansora with the directional air dodge to the right. And not only a directional air dodge, but he was looking for the roll read from Tweak, or maybe a, an aerial approach. There's the down air into Waft. No, he doesn't get it. He, that I is a Waft confirm. That was a Waft confirm, but I think we are one second away from actually being half Waft. Wow, man. Oh, but... <laughs> On Q, going to use the waft in combination with the bike. Really just so throwing Samsor off because Tweak is not really using these wafts from Confirms. That's right. You know, as someone who's con uh, constantly using these half wafts, you really got to keep an eye on the timer. Yeah. That one was about 534. So now we're looking at 434. You, s you start to approach that, that number, Samsor, you got to keep in mind, like, okay, he's probably going to start going for these waft setups. Yeah. The right small waft comes out, like, at around a minute. Half yeah. waft is minute half where, where you usually want it. And then two minutes is the full walk. Yeah, so this is like the go time for Sam Sorry, He does Jeez. not have... Are you dead? Okay, he's still dead living. Wild. Not dead yet. Pretty heavy, but man, Sam Sora in full control of this third stock. I mean, this is the go time. No waft, so which means that that down B pretty much nullified. Yeah, we're probably... We're, we're going to see the waft available at around the 4.30, four-minute timer mark here. But I don't know if we can survive that long. Okay, well, that whiff grab... With the Peach Bomber is going to get back thrown. That's going to eat up a little bit more time. Floating and taking this thing. Oh, okay. Good hop to avoid the grab. Doesn't go for the waft confirmed there. Maybe it was not ready. Okay. This is so close because now the waft is online here. Or at least like the small waft. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. He tried to rip. call him out. Yeah. Yeah. So Tweak not getting that one. But he can still win just through a back air. Oh, tries to get the up tilt here, tries to get the dash attack, the bike coming Whoa! out, but the up air, the rainbow's coming out for Sansor, and he gets himself on the board. Yeah, rainbow power is nothing to laugh at. You got to respect that. It covers up. It's so wide, and <laughs> it's actually pretty high, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not the strongest move, but obviously, at like 180, 190, you're going to die off the top. So this time, Tweet coming in with the counter pick here. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if he just sticks it out all the way through with Wario. All five games waft, or with Wario? Yeah. Waft to you. I mean, like, if he loses two in a row, he might switch to Joker game five, but he's definitely going to run this game four with the Wario. Okay, so game four for sure. Wario versus San, uh, Peach, Peach and Sansor. All right, and Pokemon Stadium 2 is the stage. We get the run back and the color change as well, and wow, Sansor starting things off with the Nair Train, 63% off one conversion. Now, Hello, both Peach. These, both these players are able to, like, putting up their combo game and really 
uh, making a montage on their opponent. But the difference is, like, Sansora will put 70 on Squeak. Squeak will only put about 30 to 40 on Sansora. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wario definitely. I mean, Wario does have some crazy conversions. Oh, you need the bike. He does, and he avoids the turnip as well. But Sansora, so dominant of an opener this game number four. Uh, drifting low and riding the stage back to the ledge. Okay, jump. <laughs> he just has to jump over that Sansora pressure, but it's still coming already 166% on the tweet. Getting some trades here, trying to get his footing. Okay, gets the grab. All right, 68%. Not really going to have access to a kill confirms yet. Oh man, and that is not a trade you want. The back air is going to send Tweak packing on the left side of the stage here. Samsora just doing such a good job of controlling this center stage. Tweak starting off the set, going up 2-0, but man, Samsora is really doing a great job of bringing it back in his favor. That's right, Samsora is playing extremely well, adapting to Tweak's Wario, using the Peach Bomber to make it back to the ledge, and just escaping. We saw Tweak do a quite amount of damage while Sansor is trying to escape the ledge, but there, with ease, escaped and got back center stage. Okay, there's the back here, but Sansora is still alive, already racking up 73% on the Tweet, but Tweet does have the Waft available, and he gets the stock without using it. Okay, so now here's where that comeback mechanic comes into play. Yes, Tweet is at 86%, but I mean, if Tweet is able to get a conversion, he's obviously going to go for it. But, but yeah, getting, Sansor, that, getting that hit is so difficult. Yeah, Sansora knows exactly how he wants to come in, and he is meeting him at every point of entry with a hitbox of his own. Yeah, worst case scenario, Sansora is looking for a trade. Wow, and that forward air, not even a trade, just going to cleanly beat him now. Now Tweak down an entire stock this game, number four, but the Waft is still available. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. After three nares and putting 50% on Tweak, I'm not sure. Might be a start, time to start thinking about a game five. Yeah, I mean, you still have the Waft. It really comes down to how you play against the Waft, but right now he is getting jammed. He's already 94% on a Tweak. I mean, even look at the confidence coming from Sam Sword. He's going to throw Tweak off stage and then chase him off stage. Okay, there's the he Nair. He will chase Tweak to the end of the, end, of the, end of the stage. Yeah, yeah, he's staying really aggressive when he does get these neutral interactions. There's the up tilt. No Waft to follow, though. Gets the parry, down tilt, still on the hunt, but no walk confirm. He has to save it. Oh, no, he doesn't. He just catches Samsora going high, but the forwarder on the return, not enough. That's right, 145%. Gotta watch out for double turn up. He's going to cover a good, wise, good uh, amount of range. Oh, gets poked. Now, this is hard because he has to he has to beat Samsora with no waft on this last dog. It's going to be very, very difficult. Wario trying to fight his way out the corner. Very, very hard against Peach. Peach probably one of the best characters in the game, especially he's piloted by Sam Sora, it's just so hard to get out. All right, Coach Korean, it's time to make the call. Does Tweak just, you know, it's maybe it's time to abandon Wario. He did his job. He got two games on Sam Sora, but he might bring in, not, he might need to bring someone in to close it out. Yeah, if, if he does switch characters, it's going to be Joker. But I have a feeling he's going to stay Wario. <laughs> really? I have a feeling. Man, you, you know your player. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I know him very well. <laughs> I still think it's very possible, though. Okay, like, well. Obviously, like, Sam Sora played incredibly well game three and four, but game five, guess what? It's a different game. So we'll see how things start up here. And we're running it straight back to PS2. I mean, I'm expecting a similar game plan to come out from Sam Sora. He's going to play the aggro game, put a lot of damage, and then once WAP starts uh, to be available to Tweak, that's when he's going to play a little bit more safer. Cross up. Wow, gets the up tilt. And Tweak opening up pretty strong here. Still pretty, still pretty even, though. Yeah, both. Good start for both players, honestly. Oh, the forward tilt. Wow, it hit his shield so far back. Calls out the jump, but Samsora coming in with the jump and the down air stomping all over him. Mm -hmm. Getting a bunch of rainbows getting thrown at Tweak. Like eating at the bike. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to focus on just getting the waft out a little bit early. We, Tweak has been doing great work with the waft. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we might see a mix up too. He might be like, now that, oh, wow, the jump call out, but it's not enough. If you got the stock that early, that would have been so huge. Yep. Wow, forced again! To forced to go high, avoid that bike roast. That would have been free pressure at the ledge. Okay, bike not in the correct position to cover the roll. Now Sansora able to escape back to center stage. Okay, the dash back, going to reward Tweak with the throw. Going to get the bike out of there. Now the uh, A-Waft is online, but I'm pretty sure Tweak can just steal this first stock out with a back air. Yeah, he's definitely looking for it. Landing with the Nair is not uh -oh. going to be the correct call. We see triple Whoa. up air okay. sending Tweak real high. And getting a lot of damage on the way as well. Sansora doing an incredible job keeping this first stock very, very close. Grab okay. center stage, not going to do much. Yeah, forward throw. It's really kind of difficult to tell which one. He's going to offer a forward throw back throw to center stage. 
And Pete, with all the rage, is going to be enough to steal that first stock away from Tweak, man. And it just looked like Tweak had all the control. You know what I mean? But back air from center stage is going to steal out that stock. Guess what? We have even percents, even stocks. But Waft is here. Yeah, the Waft is online here. Did not use that for the first stock. We'll see how Tweak, um, Tweak has the uh, Waft usage here on this first one. It's going to be really, really big. Okay, good aggression coming from Samsora. But here we go. It's time. Wow. Okay. Gets the platform extension with, into a back air. Yeah, I wonder if he could have got the Waft off the back air. It might have been pretty tight. That he might have really needed the, the stretch of the back air to hit that because of the way Samsora was DI'ing. Yes. I feel like even if he did land like a he convert into the Waft in that position, Samsora was already on the left, I don't think it would have killed. Yeah, and I mean, forward air into Waft, drifting forward air into Waft is a conversion um, that Tweet can have, oh, but oh, double up oh. air, he's, just, he's probably going to just save this Waft for the last stock, honestly. The way the game is going, it's going to be a very fast... Uh, we're, both these players should be on their last stocks fairly quick. Ooh, the Sour Dash Tack connecting. Who is going to have the lead coming into the final stock here? And it looks like the answer is Tweak. Okay, but don't don't count out Sensora just yet. We've seen a lot of revenge kills. Yeah, Tweak is uh, bobbing and weaving right now. But guess what? Sensora is looking for the kill. Seeing a couple backers getting thrown out from center states. And this is so scary because he has the Waft online. Nair doesn't fully connect, though. Tweak trying to get some kind of combo starter. Get this damage racking. Get the trade. That's 24 on Sensora, 123 on the Tweak. Is he play. just looking for, like, Waft confirmed? Both these players are playing so safe. Yeah, I mean, it's it's game five. <laughs> Tweak wants to get as much mileage as he can off this second stock. Samsora has not taken that much damage, and Tweak is in the corner. He has to get out. Okay. Spending both double jumps, maintaining his position in the air, but Nair does connect. And now being on the platform oh. below Samsora, it's not where you want to be. No bike. Okay, but he gets to the ledge here. Samsora still trying to extend this corner pressure, especially with the turn as well. Tweak going up and over. He's still alive, though. Yeah, back air does connect, able to get your ledge invincibility right when that turn was coming. Oh, you saw that Tomahawk. You saw that flow cancel turn around from Sansori. He wanted the forward throw, but now Tweak putting a little bit more damage. Up throw! No. Oh, wow. he doesn't pull the trigger on the wall from the air dodge to the ground. Wow. He's had a couple opportunities to push the down B button, but he's not using it. He must be saving it in case he needs it. Right now, just he has momentum. He has the advantage. He's just trying to maintain it. Man, he hasn't used Waft a single time. He definitely wanted to land on the bike and Waft there. But Samsora with the call out, with the Nair. And Tweak still with the Waft online. I mean, and that's honestly just going to be a constant threat. As long as Waft is online, Samsora has to have a certain play style to make sure that, A, it's, it's not viable, but the back air is able to connect. No Waft needed to win the set. And Tweak gets in to winner's side. Top eight, my boy just beat Samsora with no waft on the Wario, bro. He did not use down B at all that game. And did not you a that? single.